Nice. FH dash two access one hundred one of one hundred eight. Enter. This file wants to call and use your MIDI devices dialog. This file wants to allow button. Hi, this is a demonstration of the new accessibility features in the Expert Sleepers FH two firmware version of one point one five. These are primarily aimed at people with visual impairment, uh, but the remote control feature should be useful for anybody whose modular is a little way away from their computer. I'd like to thank Oz at Expert Sleepers for putting in all the hard work to make this happen. Uh, it's a really cool feature and incredibly useful, so let's get down to it. FH 2 access. Okay. You probably saw right at the start that I had to tell Chrome uh, to allow access to me and my MIDI devices. Uh, the system is in two parts. There's the 1.15 firmware that you'll need to load onto the module and there's this HTML page that you can get from the Expert Sleeper Tools repository which I'll link to in the notes below. Once you've got them installed FH dash two act display heading level you get this CLK colon none which is a representation of the display on the hardware uh, but it's on your computer screen in fact uh, this will run quite happily on Chrome or Opera on Windows Mac or Android unfortunately it won't run on iOS because Apple haven't updated their WebKit framework to support Web MIDI. What happens is that the module and the page ex exchange system exclusive messages that contain uh, parameter and text data. Heading level one display. So we can do CLK colon none. This virtual representation. So you can see line one. Uh, tells me what kind of clock I've got, which at the moment is none. 257.0 BPM. Line 2 is my tempo. C. Line 3 at the moment is just telling me which uh, MIDI I.O. is active. Uh, so that's C, which is my USB-C port. DICH4 op And the fourth line normally gives me me uh, information about the last kind of message received. Okay boring stuff out the way. If I manipulate the hardware itself, so I'm going to press the left button on the module. CLK colon in dash 257.0. It tells me I've got an internal clock and the BPM because I've got the button configured to start and stop my clock. If I press it again. CLK colon in dash 257.0. If I turn the encoder, 258.0, 259.0, I can adjust my BPM. So, so far, so good. If I press the encoder, it takes me into the menu system. Presets. Edit preset. And each press takes me down a level, and I can turn the encoder to navigate the menu. Load preset. Save preset. Load preset. Edit preset. Direct. LFOs. Let's have a look at an LFO. LFO output 1 speed colon 9. LFO output colon 1. LFO output 1 colon speed. Okay, let's change the speed of this LFO. LFO output 1 speed colon 9. LFO output 1 speed colon 10. LFO output 1 speed so colon 11. So all I'm 11. doing is clicking into the option I want by pushing the big encoder and then rotating it to adjust the value. Uh, one small problem, if I rotate it quickly. LFO output 1 speed colon 13. LFO output 1 speed colon 16. LFO output 1 speed colon 37. The speech didn't get interrupted uh, as often as we'd like. Um, this is just a problem with the screen reader support for the technique that we're using. Okay, if I press the left button, it will take me out through the menu one level at a time. LFOS. Edit preset. 
and if I hold the left button down, it will take me all the way out. Presets overview dash CLK colon the dash 259.0 to the overview screen, which is the main display. Uh, by the way, uh, this uh, these accessibility messages are not on by default. They can be turned on in the menu system, or the easiest way of doing it is to hold the left button of the module down during power on. That will turn accessibility on and that setting will be preserved until you do the same thing again. So if you want to get rid of the accessibility, uh, turn off, hold the left button down, turn on again and it, it'll flip the setting. OK. General feature that's useful for anybody. I talked about it earlier. Remote control heading level one. Remote control. So we have a series of buttons. Encoder push button. Encoder CW button. Encoder clockwise. Encoder CCW button. Count clockwise. Left button push button. So by clicking on these with the mouse, if you're a mouse user, well, I'm going to hit the space bar. Space FH dash two access left button push button CLK colon in CLK colon in space CLK colon none CLK colon none dash two. We're controlling the unit as if we were actually using uh, the front panel controls. Uh, we've also got quick key to make this a lot easier. So on the Mac it would be uh, shift option and the arrow keys on my PC. It's Alt Shift and the arrow keys. So Alt Shift and left. Not in the table. Uh, it doesn't do what I want because, of course, uh, I'm in the demo. Encoder CCW encode encode heading level one. Alt Shift left arrow CLK colon in dash two hundred fifty nine point oh. So that's the current of the left button. Alt Shift left arrow CLK colon the dash two hundred fifty nine point oh. Right Alt Shift right arrow resets. That takes me into the menu. Alt Shift right arrow edit preset. Alt Shift up and down. You just like turning the encoder. Alt Shift down arrow load preset. Alt Shift down arrow save preset. Alt Shift down arrow reset preset. Alt Shift left arrow presets. Alt Shift left arrow CLK colon none. I think that's just really handy. Okay, uh, well I hope you found it interesting and useful, and uh, maybe uh, we'll see more features in the future. Thanks very much for listening. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.